In this video we are going to look at various laws of indices. These laws help us to simplify expressions that have exponentiation which means expressions which have numbers raised to their powers. So let us look at what these laws are. If you have such an expression there is a law of indices for you and that law is if you have a raised to n times a raised to m it equals to a raised to n plus m. This is the law of indices. So the value of this expression will be equals to we have 2 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 2. So it will be 2 raised to 3 plus 2 and that will be 2 raised to 5. Let us look at the next law. If you have an expression where you have a raised to m divided by a raised to n then it is equals to a raised to m minus n. So if you have division you have m minus n. So this will be equals to 5 raised to 6 minus 2 and that is 5 raised to 4. Let us move on to the next law. If you have a raised to m raised to n then you can write it as a raised to m times n. So the value of this expression will be 3 raised to 2 times 3 and that is equal to 3 raised to 6. Let us jump on to the next. If you have a times b raised to m then it is equals to a raised to m times b raised to m. So this will be equal to 2 raised to 10 times 3 raised to 10 and then you can solve it further. Let's move ahead. If you have a by b raised to m then again you can split this power to both the numerators and denominators. So you can write a raised to m upon b raised to m. So this is equal to 2 raised to 10 upon 3 raised to 10. Let us move ahead. Anything raised to 0 is equals to 1. This is a standard law. a raised to 0 is equals to 1. So 2 raised to 0 will be equals to 1. Also 3 raised to 0 will be equal to 1 and 91 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So anything raised to 0 is 1. Let us again look at what these laws are. a raised to n times a raised to m will give you a raised to n plus m which means that if you have multiplication you add the powers. But provided these two numbers are same. Next if you have division you can subtract the powers. Then if you have something raised to something raised to something then you can directly multiply the powers. Here we have a raised to m which whole raised to n then you can write a raised to m times n. If you have a times b the whole raised to m then you can split the power to each of these terms. So you can write a raised to m times b raised to m. And if you have a by b the whole raised to some power then again you can split the power to the numerator and the denominator. So you have a raised to m by b raised to m. And lastly anything raised to 0 is equal to 1. So that's what we have in this video.